Hello everybody, this is Robert coming to you from the Geek Lab. Uh, just wanted to kind of give you an idea here. I downloaded Windows 10 yesterday and you can see from the start menu looks exactly like they say it's going to look. Don't notice much difference uh, in some of the other things. However, I have noticed you don't you don't have the metro there's no more metro look. You know, when you hit the, the Windows key, which used to bring you to the other one, you get the Start menu. So the Windows key now takes you to the Start menu. And you can add other programs to your Start menu. So let's say uh, I wanted to add pictures. I can right-click and drag it over here and start a new tab. There's pictures. I want to go down here to all my other uh, apps now, as they're called. You can see they're all listed here, just like they were before in the menu. Now, one of the problems I can see here is that there's a lot of things listed instead of being grouped, you know. So if I wanted to put Hulu over there, I'd just right-click on it, take Hulu over there, and Hulu Plus will show up. Let's see what else I want to get over there. Well, I play, uh, let's see, what do we got here? Jigsaw Puzzle. Jigsaw Puzzle HD. We'll put that over there. Let's download that. You can see that the store... Oh, I'm not connected to the internet right now. But you can see, based on the menu, which you have now, and now you have tiles that you can add over here. But, like I said before, there's no more Metro screen. You don't get back to the Metro screen. You can change it to the Start screen, and when it starts up, this is what will start right here, versus the desktop. Just go into the desktop. So there's a quick little rundown on uh, what I've done with Windows 10 so far. And uh, I'll uh, update more later on. Thanks for watching.